Hello Capricorn, welcome back to the Lucky Tarot. This is your January 1st until the 10th general love reading. Happy, happy new year to all of my viewers. Sending you love and light as you greet the new year. Also, a special shout out to all the Capricorns out there. Sun, Moon, and Rising, Venus, and whatever signs you have as long as you have Capricorn. Um, I'm sending you good vibes, alright? This is your season. Also, happy birthdays to all the Capricorns that are celebrating their birthdays during this month. So, happy, happy birthday, guys. I send you love and light. Good energies, positive vibes. We're back with another general reading. It's not going to resonate for all, for all Capricorns. But this is for Sun, Moon, and Rising. So, please take whatever resonates and leave out what doesn't. We're going to do a past, present, and future spread. Already premeditated and also pre-shuffled your cards before recording. If you guys are interested with a private reading, please check my information down below. Alrighty, so in the past or recent past, we have Five of Wands, Knight of Cups, hmm, and Ten of Cups. So Capricorn, you could have dealt with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This was someone younger, if not by age, by energy. You were aware that this person can be flimsy or flaky in terms of their love offer. The commitment is not as strong, is not as firm as you thought it was in the beginning. There could be a sense of competition around this person. Or you feel you have a lot of competition when it comes to their attention. It could also mean, since this is a general reading, you fought for this person to stay in your life. But it seems like you, you are now aware that this person wasn't that serious when it comes to your relationship. But with the Ten of Cups, it suggests that you guys already have reunited. There could be a reconciliation that has happened. You both set aside each other's differences. That even though there were things you're arguing about, things that you're not seeing each other eye to eye with, that in the end, you two have a rainbow after the storm. And there are things that you can actually grow from, from all the, um, the fights, the arguments, the mistakes that has happened in the past. You accept that that was all part of the journey as well, okay? That is beautiful. So Ten of Cups is a synthesis of all you've been through. Could mean coming together as a family, deciding to become a family as well. But there has been indeed a period of stress in the relationship where someone was doubting someone's commitment. Where someone was doubting their emotions. So whoever is that in the relationship... I hope that they were able to sort that out. Let's see with the current energy. We're going to clarify those cards in a while, okay? So stick in the end, there might be something there that's going to resonate for you guys. We have Three of Cups in reverse. Ooh, Ace of Cups. Ace of Swords. I love it. There's two Aces here. There's This is like... A double confirmation that you guys have a beautiful beginning a journey an emotional and mental journey with someone it means that your mind and your heart is both on the same page you're not causing imbalance with each other because of this decision it may be for some of you though I feel like with the three of cups in reverse right there I feel like the struggle was not just because of those constant arguments or someone whose commitment is is uh, in question, but it's because they can easily get distracted from with other people. You Capricorn, I felt like you were questioning this person's loyalty because maybe in their line of work or maybe in their crowd in your crowd there's someone who's trying to be in the middle you know a third party situation but five is a rolling number so just above the three of cups it was a temporary phase that you two have fought about and hopefully that was resolved 
all that needed to happen was indeed a good talk with your partner, honestly telling each other, how is this going to be? From a 10 to a beginning, I felt like there has already been a pending um, conclusion to the chapter. For some of you, even considered walking away from this person. But I feel like Capricorn, you chose forgiveness. You chose making it work. Even though there are still present energies that may still, you know, bring about conflict, bring about doubts about someone's trust and loyalty. But two aces, it means that the positive outweighs the person's mistake or whoever caused that imbalance, this harmony in the relationship. The good outweighs the bad. And I feel like no relationship is perfect, Capricorn. But this is a blessing for you guys, Ace of Cups and Ace of Swords. It's a beautiful beginning for the two of you. But remember that this is just a seed. It's up to the two of you how you're going to mold this blessing to manifest it to a relationship that you desire for the two of you. Hopefully, it's not for the three of you. All right, hopefully, it's no longer a third-party situation. Um, but see, ace and ace, for some of you, I feel like don't rush into making a decision. The timing is is going to come. If you're still conflicted about your emotions because someone in that connection, in this connection, is not allowing you to fully trust on another beginning, then take all the time that you need to reflect, to heal yourself, to recover from all of this. All right. If it means even you going back to your hometown to meet your parents and families and recover, then do that. You need to release all of those doubts in order to be in the same page with someone. And if you are decided, then I feel like you both are going to manifest this brand new beginning together. Same page. Both your hearts are in the same page as well. Thinking the same so that a union can happen. If you mix two aces, then it becomes two. But in order for a union to happen, a decision should be made, all right? And before a decision comes a mental clarity, an acceptance, a forgiveness. And giving your heart to someone requires your 100%, no doubts and um, no apprehensions, all right? And there's also a message that says here, there's no growth in the relationship if the two of you are not on the same page. So the best possible solution is to clear your head and clear your heart for any form of resentment from the past so that it will allow you to make better decisions and it won't cloud your judgment. Seven In the future, we have Seven of Swords in reverse. Yep, so indeed, someone was sneaky in the past, but it's now trying to come back. But I have a feeling, I have a feeling, Capricorn, that... The reason why you're not um, fully accepting this brand new beginning, even though you are aware that this is the time to do so, to trust your partner, to not hold back, all right? That there is indeed a beautiful blessing on the horizon. It's because maybe you're in a circle where someone is not giving you a sound advice. Someone could be telling you a bad advice and you're taking it and it's causing a lot of internal conflict. So be careful of your circle. Could mean that you are you are fond of hanging out with people who want to gossip. And you know, gossip doesn't really help solving anything. It could just cost more hearsay. And that could add to more of your confusion or not being able to trust your partner. Seven of Swords energy right there. There's no winning with this kind of energy. Someone needs to have better discernment about people that are around them in order to come to a better understanding of his or her situation and not let anyone else's opinion affect their decision. So someone is not appear, it's not appearing their true self. So be careful of that, Capricorn. Or, since this is a general reading Capricorn, it can even mean you. You're maybe saying too much towards your friends regarding your relationship or regarding the past, the past conflict and struggles you had. That's why this beginning is not jumping off to a union just yet 
or it's not as solid as you guys both want it to be. You may have said something with regards to your friends in the past and you sort of regret saying that. So be careful about, there's just a message that's saying here, be careful of who to trust in your environment, okay? Not everyone wants, wants what's best for you, even they say that. You need to protect your energy. You need to ask the spirit for better discernment. All right, there are a lot of people who are friends to you, but they're not real, real friends, people that you can count on, people that will give you a sound advice. If anything, though, the best counsel is, of course, your intuition. So that is why I was telling you, don't rush into any decision. Take that time to contemplate, to really ask the spirit, what is the best decision for yourself and your partner? When is the right timing? You know, how are you going to be able to heal from all of the baggage that you have? Or if you don't already, then how are you going to turn things differently so that this new beginning won't be put to waste, you know. King of Pentacles, you showing up here. This is definitely your element, Capricorn. Um, I feel like you are very, you showing up here like the King of Pentacles right there. You're very on top of your game in the future when it comes to your career, your money. And you're able to, to handle all, all sorts of situations. You are above your game, alright. And you are actually helping people out to achieve their dreams and your partner as well. But because of you, maybe on top of your game, that people are trying to take advantage of your kindness or trying to give you a wrong advice of some sort. So be, be very careful. King of Pentacles, this is someone who surpassed all of the other kings. This is someone who already has been through a lot of tests and challenges to reach this point. If anything, Capricorn... Please tap into your experience, tap into the wisdom that you have in order to make better judgment of people that are, are around you or to even take advice from anyone. Don't, yeah, see? Don't doubt your inner counsel. Don't doubt the spirit talking to you, your sense of justice that you have. You already have that code in you, in your system by the spirit. So don't doubt it. That is the justice card. Beautiful. It can even mean a Libra. I feel like you can't trust a Libra or someone who's trying to be showing that they care for you. They want to solve your problems. They want to help you out with money problems or whatever. Just be very careful with that. Apply however fits your situation, guys. But in the end, you're going to solve this the, the best way possible that you know, Capricorn. So tap into that wisdom. Tap into your inner counsel. Know that everything in balance brings about harmony. Don't let your emotions clutter your judgment, but also don't let too much of that logic, you know, cast away your emotional side, especially dealing with a relationship, okay? So balance is key. Yeah, so you were in a conflict with a fire sign, or this could be your partner, potential partner. In the past, could be a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, someone younger. Someone's very attractive, very charming. Someone who's very passionate and chases after one dream after the next. And this type of attraction you have with this person is very magnetic. All right, that even though there are a lot of things that you argue about, I feel like the thing you like about this person is their ability to turn the situation around you know what I mean they don't want to engage in arguments with you but you also can't help arguing with this person because of what you're feeling like you you are doubting their loyalty you're doubting their uh, intentions towards you and where else they're putting their energy into maybe other people because the knight of cups is in here so this both in reverse I mean this in reverse and this looking to the other direction it means that because of those conflicts regarding someone's trust and loyalty in question it has brought you to to drift apart for a period of time could mean literally distance from one another okay but the attraction is there and so are the emotions and there's no doubt about that it's just that there's just maybe a period in time where someone's loyalty fell short or someone couldn't trust the other person so I think you are aware of that. Applies whatever, uh, applies to your situation however possible, okay? So why is the Knight of Cups here? Mm. 
Nine of Swords. So I think that even though someone that you, know, you were connecting with in the past was making you happy, was um, being by your side, I think that your doubts got the best of you, Capricorn. For some of you, I felt like, um, of course, being a Capricorn, you want to, to have the stability. You want to have things in balance, in harmony, in full control, all right? You want things to be locked down. All right, since you are an earth sign, you want something firm, long term, like I mentioned. So with the Nine of Swords, because someone is a bit flimsy and flaky with their commitment and is refusing to even converse with you about the matter of the things that you're arguing about, um, it's starting to pile up in your head mostly. You're exhausted by your thoughts. There are a lot of doubts that it's coming to a stressful level. You are losing sleep, all right? There are a lot of thoughts in your head, questioning your self-worth, a lot of that. A lot of times where you actually wanted to blame yourself, but hopefully you didn't really become too hard on yourself, Capricorn. But with the 9 and a 10, there has been an ending of that. Whatever anxiety, I felt like you needed to let that go the moment you also let go of those thoughts and emotions you have and chose forgiveness and happiness and peace why is the ten of cups here the moon card so there are still things that are confusing for you Capricorn it can even mean that um, something was brought to light something that has been concealed to you is now coming to light I think that you are confronting more of the issues that it, that is in the background of the relationship. Ten of Cups does suggest that you two are happy. But going through this process of conflict and psychological fears, I think that there's a lot that brought, has been brought to light. Issues in the relationship that you weren't aware of in the beginning, but now you're addressing it. So, you know what they say, if confusion is happening, there's a huge chance that you're going to be able to sort that out. You know what they say as well after chaos comes order so i feel like in the past you knew that in order for happiness to happen you have to clear the confusion and that's definitely what happened why is the three of cups here in reverse queen of cups in reverse yeah i feel like there's a water sign here all right, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, that's in your life. Could be a platonic relationship. Could be a family member who seems to be uh, someone who's not agreeing with you at times or agreeing with your partner. Someone who could also be distancing their, themselves emotionally. And I feel like this could be, for some of you, could have been someone in between the relationship in the past. Or this could be just a friend who's trying to be dramatic in your relationship i don't know i'm getting a lot of messages here who's saying a bad advice or who's convincing you to do something differently so be careful my dear capricorn why is the ace of cups here so i think that if you already know that this person is toxic is not good for you then just do you capricorn pay no attention to that all right but if you want to sort that out then confrontation is the best way to go and also open-hearted communication ace of cups and ace of swords does talk about open-hearted communication um if you want to clean the slate and to start something new with with your friends as well if this is not a romantic relationship there is a huge chance that you're going to be able to sort that out and at least talk to this person confront this person all right Queen of Swords and Hangman in Reverse. So you're done making sacrifices, Capricorn. But things are getting better now. I feel like you know that it just needs a little bit of effort on your end and your partner as well to finally push through the relationship and make some major changes. Again, this is um, a message that's saying it's about your effort. It's about how you're going to try to mold this blessing that's going to bring out the best possible outcome for the two of you.
Queen of Swords, so could be an air sign that you're dealing with here as well. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Queen of Cups, I feel like with the two queens here, there's a lot of message that's coming here. I feel like you're going to try to stop communicating with someone who's toxic for you. Like, I mean, you're going to cut this person out of your life. I think that if this is not someone who you can trust, then don't look back. Don't hold back cutting this person from your life. Why is the Seven of Swords here in reverse? A lot of cards there. Page of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and the Six of Cups in reverse. So, Capricorn, I feel like in the future, someone is going to try to offer <laughs> or send you a message of love, maybe a proposal or a friendship or an apology, but... I don't know. I don't seem to be trusting this person. As what the cards are saying. So be very careful about this person's intention. Not that they mean to mess you up. But it's because they're all so shady. And they're not aware of how they're coming off as well. Or what their intentions really are. So be very careful about that message. Okay? And Nine of Cups with the king of pentacles i feel like you're living your best life here capricorn you get your emotional fulfillment you're gonna get your wish you're gonna have all the um, abundance that one can possibly have in his or her life so that alone is a confirmation that if you keep cutting people that are toxic and keep focusing on what's gonna fill your cup up and what's gonna replenish all of your energy all of your emotions and what's gonna stop making you stop you know you need to let go of all that energy of that people bringing you down people talking things behind your back you know people trying to be fake with you and stuff so focus on what's going to make you happy focus on you capricorn work on your happiness work on your productivity work on your money in your career what's whatever is going to bring you the most success but of course not hurting other people and not stepping out on other people capricorn we have the six of cups here in reverse i feel like um, for some of you that's ongoing with a divorce, you're going to get a good news from that. But with the Six of Cups right there in reverse, be very careful about having your judgments being cluttered by missing someone in the past. Could be an ex or could be a past friend, someone from your childhood that you know you don't really necessarily have a lot of fun memories with this person. But it's because of your attachment. Could even be a karmic relationship. So be very careful. However, with the Justice card here, I love it. It, it requires um, not just your emotional stability, but your mental and your spiritual stability to make a better decision out of those emotions. So you can conquer your emotions, all right? And not let that affect your decision making, affect your, your, um, your balance, your sense of balance. So that is your reading, my dear Capricorn. Please meditate on this, like and share this video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.